Let's put aside all the noise around the edges of climate change science. It is real and it is happening. Climate change and resource depletion can cause, as we've seen, economic and social political upheaval. This will disturb markets, harm asset values, and imperil our mission of delivering that financial security. So investigating to mitigate those risks protects our own long-term investments, creates opportunities, is actually very much in our self-interest. Clean tech matters, I think, to all of us because the society needs the solutions. I don't think there's really any uh, contest about whether this is a long-term phenomenon which is going to be around and affect the way that we all live our lives in the next 30 years. The interest is huge. Uh, our uh, energy resources are almost depleted. The technologies which drive down carbon emissions, increase efficiencies, uh, drive down cost, uh, are going to be around for a very long time. The conventional wisdom is that the demand for energy will grow at 2 to 3 percent per annum. That means we need double the amount of energy we need by 2050. Do you think now is a good time for investors to enter the clean technology space? I think it's a good time since uh, this is a sector which uh, will have uh, very interesting growth opportunities. Uh, absolutely, and probably the uh, number of people here today uh, is some sign that people are coming around to that. When positive sentiment is coming back, people are a little bit more upbeat. So there's much more confidence uh, this year than, than there was last year. That, and I think it's also the whole sector is getting much more professional. Because I think we've really made that transition from clean tech of a number of years ago as an out there, niche, speculative category to the point where you really have to ask yourself, are you under allocated in what is and will continue to be for the next 30 years the most important investment category affecting the largest industries I think it's been an extraordinary day and I do conferences all over the world and I think what makes this special is that you have people literally from every country, LPs as well as GPs. The questions which are raised are maybe more precise, more on the points. Uh, we speak more openly about issues and that also the, the thinking uh, with the investors and the GP is maturing. I think the different point of views that were brought forward by the various speakers also reflected uh, how hot the topic of uh, clean tech uh, really is now. I think there are two big questions. The first is, what will be the rate of growth in demand for energy? And the second then, and of course they're related, is what will the mix of energies be and how rapidly renewables will substitute for traditional fossil fuels. And I think the, the great thing about this forum is that it's, it is dedicated and still relatively small, which means you get, it's quite easy to get a transfer of ideas. The organizers uh, got it right to keep it to a small audience, intimate. Uh, there's a lot of quality people here, so excellent networking and some very good points made at the, at the podium. And look out 50 years and, and, and ask yourself, are we really still going to be digging up lumps of coal where we shovel them into blast furnaces to boil water, which is what we do? How have you found the day? Very, very interesting. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Different styles, different people, different geography. Great mix, LPs, GPs. I adore it. It's really important for the investors to see that there are people who have been in the sector, know what they're doing, understand how to make money for them, and you brought that together here. So it's really wonderful. And, you know, I've been very much impressed. I've been to a lot of events, but I have to say this uh, new net conference, you know, is one of the best I've ever been to. Oh, I think it's been terrific. I, I think these sort of gatherings of the people who are committed to and interested in the space are essential. Why? Well, I think everybody who's come feels like uh, it was well worth their money and their time. I plan to be back. But I've been, listen, I, I'm not a big fan of conference. Actually, I don't like conference at all. This is the second time in a row that I come here, which means that this is a really strong conference, which I really, I mean, everybody that counts in the sector is here. And in one day, you meet everybody. So, so I'll come back next year if you invite me. <laughs> okay. Of course, I will. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much.